Hi, I'm Gucci Westman, makeup artist and global artistic director for Revlon. And I'm gonna show you some different face options. First, we're gonna start with a kind of bronzy, sun-kissed foundation face finish. I'm gonna start with the Beyond Natural Primer. It closes your pores and it's really light and easy to use. You just need a tiny, tiny amount and then you smooth over either with your finger, sponge, or brush. I find that prepping the skin, the eyes, the lips, the outcome is so much better and long-lasting. I highly recommend it. And now I'm using the Color Stay foundation in a darker tone just because I want to give her a bit of a sun kiss kind of finish. And I'm starting by dabbing it lightly in the cheek area. I suggest using a darker foundation, like maybe that's two to three steps darker than your own skin. And you always want to remember the neck. That's kind of a mistake that a lot of women tend to make. Since I'm making the skin tone darker, I'm lastly correcting the skin with concealer foundation because I'm taking the skin to another color, making it deeper. I'm gonna add a bit of a cheek. And I'm using Tawny Peach. And it's kind of just to lift her face. And I'm kind of applying the color to the apple and just below. Then I'm using the Color Stay powder, just a bit darker. It's actually very nice because it really enhances, say, blue eyes without even feeling like you're wearing makeup. So maybe I'll mix just a kind of a little bit of Kiss Me Coral. This is our sun kiss face. And now I am show you to take your skin tone to a lighter version than you are. So first I'm just starting off by moisturizing. Well, sometimes it's nice to have a lighter tone than you are because you can look made up without looking made up. So then what I'm doing now is I'm using the Color Stay Makeup and I've mixed two different colors in my little mixing pot. So I use the Sand Beige together with the Golden Beige. So I have a little bit of a yellow undertone and a little bit of a kind of a flat sort of alabaster. So I'm lightening her skin without completely covering it. So it's not chalky and powdery, but more sort of sheer. And if you think about those old Hollywood black and white photos where the skin still looks luminous, but it's flawless. So now I'm using the Beyond Natural again, the pale palette. And I'm using the lighter shimmer highlighting side. All the kind of natural highlights that you want to add light to or draw attention to chin, even the jaw a little bit. So then we're gonna do a nice cheeky. And I'm using a mixture of Blushing Mauve, Cream Blush, and Rosy Glow. And these are really great kind of cream powder blushes because I want it to look as luminous as possible. Dabbing, rubbing, whatever kind of motion works better for you. And then I'm kind of just going to clean up the shape a little bit with the foundation brush and smooth over the blush so it really looks like the cheeks and it's not makeup. Nothing sits on top. It's all kind of molded and melted in. Cherries in the snow. This color is so famous. I couldn't resist doing this because it's so cool. It looks like velvet when it's finished. The contrast of the luminous skin and the mouth, because the skin is so luminous and the mouth is dead dry. So she has very little makeup on. She has no mascara, she has nothing on her eyes. She just has her skin lightened and her lips this kind of powdery red. I mean, this is definitely fun and kind of fresh. It's so cool.